have waited for the event. We were here first. Next Monday, my people believe that something will happen to all of us. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Sorry about what? The next step for our people will change into something else, something greater. It's too late. What is that? It's a rebirth. We call it the event. What does that mean? It means they're coming. You to vote on the news, and here's the winner. There's a huge, hidden, heavenly body right here in our solar system. Evidence is mounting that either a brown dwarf star or a gas giant planet is lurking at the outermost reaches of our solar system, far beyond the planet Pluto. According to the British newspaper, The Independent, the object is four times the size of Jupiter. Experts say the presence of such a massive object could explain why a barrage of comets has been coming from that direction. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? If you are elected and you learned that the government knew aliens had visited Earth and the public didn't know, would you want the public, would you sure the public found out? Well, it, it depends on uh, what these aliens were like um, and whether they were Democrats or Republicans. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there is life beyond Earth. Do you agree? You know, I don't know. And I don't presume to know. What I know is there's life here on Earth. And, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. Uh, we're not taking care of kids uh, who are alive and unfortunately are not getting health care. We're not taking care of senior citizens who are alive and are seeing their uh, heating prices go up. So as president, those are the people I will be attending to first. Let's... There may be uh, some other folks on their way. Let's, um... So it turns out that if aliens ever show up here on Earth, little green men might be the least of our problems. A new study indicates that instead, they'll probably be more like super intelligent dinosaurs, as smart and as cunning as humans. As one scientist put it, we would be better off not meeting them. Sleep tight. And now some fresh pickings from the political grapevine. Our top story today was Iran taunting the U.S. over the sanctions negotiations. Now an Iranian news agency is making some other accusations about the U.S. And they're interesting. The Washington Post writes, FARS, which describes itself as Iran's leading independent news agency, claims documents leaked by Edward Snowden provide, quote, incontrovertible proof that an alien or extraterrestrial intelligence agenda is driving U.S. domestic and international policy. One Washington Post blogger wrote that while the story is entertaining and filled with bizarre conspiracy theories, quote, this is a reminder of how some hardliners see the world. So the, because of the way the event is, it seems to be um, so much secrecy about, you know, the event and everything. Yeah. So how is that play? I mean, when you're doing interviews, like we're doing interview, you know, of you, how do you kind of guard against getting us what we kind of want to know? Tell you. That's what I was going to ask. Well, I, you know, they tell us, I'm sure they know a lot more than they're telling us. And they're giving us little, you know, they're giving us just enough information to be able to play the role, uh, which is fine. We also have, we have, we're like you guys, we have a ton of questions that we ask that they're not really able to answer yet because the level of secrecy on the show is CIA like. Uh, it really truly is. I mean, when we're done with a draft, reading a draft of the script, we have to send it back in or shred it. Sophia, surrender. Do not engage your men. You will regret it. I'll make you regret ever leaving wherever it is you came from. Take them out. Any means necessary. Simon Lee is one of them. I'm warning you. You're warning me? You forced my hand, Elias. You're supposed to be perfect. Just her and me in this beautiful place, but then she was gone. The truth had been kept from me. We would have used them, detained them illegally. The CIA had known about the program for years. 
We didn't know what these people were capable of. They had taken my daughters. I did what I did to try to save them. It is essential that the world didn't hear about the event. But it's too late for that now. Now, from the executive producer of 24, NBC brings you an exclusive look at the event. In our history, few events have altered mankind. Mr. President, you're making a mistake, and everyone here agrees. The next event is upon us. Don't you think we should at least warn them so they can prepare? There's a terrorist on Flight 514. Do not let it take off. Sir, we need to keep moving. The attack is already underway. Something's happening. Oh, my God! How are we supposed to reassure the public? We don't have answers yet. I can't tell you anything. I don't want your apology. I want the truth. This is beyond anything that we are prepared for. The event happens Mondays, 9, 8 central on NBC. Sorry, Mr. President. told you everything. Alaska, 1944, an unidentified craft crashes in the wilderness, but for some reason, the survivors don't want to be found. They've spotted us. Well, the survivors are actually aliens, so they, uh, they just want to stay out there and just do it on minding their own business. So some of the people in the crash were wounded, and some weren't. They split into two groups. Unless you go, there's no hope. The able-bodied escape. The survivors of the crash, uh, they stay and they get caught by the military. The 97 wounded who stayed behind are detained in a prison. Welcome to Mount Inostranca. The leader of the prisoners is named Sophia. The 97 detainees look human, but they don't age like we do. It's weird that they don't age. I wish I had that problem. Okay, so it's 66 years later, and the president has found out about the secret prison, and so he decides that he's going to go out to this place in Alaska, and so he feels really bad for the detainees, so he decides to let them go free. This ends 
today. He wants to release these people. They didn't do anything wrong, but all these people, they're like really against it for some reason. I don't know. Sterling is head of national security. And he just, oh, yeah, do oh, the, the guy look. He thinks the president's making a mistake. Mr. President, you're making a mistake. So does the VP. More about him later. So we're introduced to this young couple, Sean and Layla. They're out on a cruise. I like Layla. I don't like Sean because he gets to be with Layla on the show. I'm kind of jealous, actually. But, you know, he's going to propose to her. And on this cruise, they meet this obnoxious couple named Vicky and Greg. This is where things get really uh, freaky and interesting. Greg, you guys take it out. Man. Done. Ah! Layla is kidnapped, and no one believes Sean when he tries to find her. Where's my girlfriend? Layla's dad, Michael's a nice guy until he hijacks a plane. They force him to hijack the plane and do something he doesn't really want to do. The kidnappers killed his wife, took his younger daughter, Samantha, and Layla. Vicky is one of the kidnappers. Simon this is a great person, great guy, he's a hero. Simon's one of Sophia's people, but that's his secret. And he works for the president, so he finds out about this whole thing that's going on, and he tries to stop the plane. You ain't getting by me, come on! Sean is on the plane too. He tries to rejack the plane from hijacker Michael. The plane's going to crash into the president. When he sees the plane disappear, he's completely freaked out. Who saved us? I haven't told you everything. Uh, after the plane disappears, it reappears in a field in a desert kind of area. 2,000 miles away in Arizona, to be exact. Sean runs. He's a fugitive now. The president is weirded out by the vanishing plane. He's also mad at Sophia. She lied about the other survivors from 1944 and a bunch of other things. He needs to know what's going on, and he's, you know, trying to get it from Sophia. I want the truth. One of my favorite scenes with Simon, I love Simon, is he's called in in the hangar to talk with his boss, Sterling, and Sterling tells him, okay, you have to go find the aliens to Simon. <laughs> find them. This guy's wanted on a federal murder warrant. So Sean ends up getting captured by the FBI agent. She doesn't believe a single word that he's saying. Now, the aliens, they call them sleepers. And Thomas is the head honcho guy of the sleepers that are out and about. Planes in Arizona, near the coordinates. And Simon finds the plane, but the passengers are dead. And it wasn't from the crash. Dead, sir. Every last one of them. So it turns out Sean and this FBI agent end up getting in a car accident. He ends up saving her, but she still ends up not believing him. We knew what he was trying to say, but she didn't see it. And finally, uh, through the sneakiness, he finally shows her that uh, what he's saying is totally true. He gets on that computer and proves to her what he, he was totally right. Whoever that is, she's got Layla, please! So the FBI agent starts believing Sean and what he's saying about the plane, but these guys come to pick up Sean, and the FBI agent isn't sure who these guys are, so they just kill everybody, shoot everybody down. So she and Sean run away and just drive off. The president is upset by the dead passengers, and Sophia is not helping. Strange thing is, they're not really dead. All of a sudden, they start waking up one by one. Are you saying they were still alive and you didn't know? So there's Layla, who is being held prisoner, and her boyfriend, Sean, and the FBI agent are trying to track her down. So we're back at the prison, and Sophia tells the president he's got to be careful about Thomas. But he's still angry with her, so he's not even listening. So all the passengers are alive, and then everybody's fine, but they don't really remember what happened, they don't know what happened, and they just start getting sick and ill. Remember when Layla was cutting her rope? And oh, yeah, and then she ended up escaping and shooting Vicky. Yeah, I just shot somebody. So uh, Layla's calling Sean, and then... Uh, Actually, she doesn't realize that Vicky's really alive. It's all a trick. So Thomas has a way to save the passengers. But only if the president releases Sophia. So Thomas and the president make a deal. And the passengers were killed, and Sophia was released. And she's on the run, but they're able to track her. The government's able to track her. So Simon helps Sophia escape, but then someone finds out that he's one of her people. Agent Lee. And Simon just takes him out and is really excited. <clears throat> Not only is he good looking, but wow! He's the mole. So they took Samantha, and Sean and Layla have been looking for her, and they're, they're trying to track her, but they're not really sure which direction to go or where, how they're going to do it yet. Sean and Layla are rifling through Layla's house looking for clues, and this crazy chick, Madeline, comes in and pulls a gun on them. She starts sharing 
a lot of secrets, and Sean and Layla think she's crazy. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Sophia and Thomas are reunited. There's something going on between them. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's something. Sean and Collier figure out they're in a trap. We gotta get out of here. So Sean decides to use Vicky's child against her and threatens to make the picture go viral. Now it's decision time for Vicky. What does she do? She turns around and guns down her own people. Nice. Layla! Sean, I'm in here! Go. Now. So Sean and Layla finally reunite. They're back together. It's a tearful, joyful reunion. Meanwhile, Thomas has a surprise for the agents tracking Sophia. They went to the building, but Thomas set the trap, so it collapsed. It was on Simon. Simon! So it turns out this guy, Dempsey, this cute little old man, loves to do his little gardening. He's actually evil. Sophia lays down the law. I'm sorry, Mother. I don't know if I'd want Sophia as my mom. She's, like, real tough. I don't know. It's kind of scary. Watching the show, yeah, I see Samantha was kidnapped by a creepy nurse, and she's uh, giving her a shot or something. All right, later, uh, Samantha's taken to this creepy hospital where it looks like there's a bunch of kids with their backs turned, and when they turn around, they're a bunch of creepy old-looking ladies. So Simon survives, miraculously, this building collapsing on him, and his boss now is really beginning to think that he's